Hey everyone, we're back in the studio. So anyone who saw the first kind of vlog that we did will know that, yeah, we've got some new studio space, new office space. So it's gonna be a bit of both. In my current, or even previous, I guess now, studio, it was um, yeah, a studio room and an office room. This is all in one. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, we have a pretty usable space here. It's about 300 square feet, which is about 27.5 square meters. Uh, so yeah, we have a decent amount of space. What we now have to do is the bit that I'm kind of dreading, which is actually making up a little bit of a set, building up and, and basically moving a lot of stuff over here. So uh, we're gonna head to my storage lockup, which is a full size shipping container. Anyone who hasn't seen it, go check out our first vlog. You, yeah, you're just gonna be in for complete shock as to how much stuff we have to keep hold of. So for anyone who ever makes these comments about, oh, can I ever free this? Can I ever free that? What do you do with all the old stuff? You're gonna see exactly what we do with it. So uh, let's head over to there. So now we're back and anyone who knows me knows that I like to do a lot of custom loot builds. So that kind of explains why I've got so much coolant here. So we've got everything from Mayhems with pastel red. I've got pastel black. We've even got some of the really cool stuff like the UV white. We've got UV green, yellow, pastel white, which the pastel white is actually really nice. Because what you can do with this, it kind of has a little bit of a milky color to it. Uh, but what you can actually do with that is you can use dyes and you can pretty much get it any color that you want. You can mix and match things to a certain degree, but I just like pastel coolants. They just seem to be really, really nice. If you don't want to go for kind of the full stuff, then Mayhems do have the concentrate as well. So you can mix that in with water. You can make it maybe a little bit more opaque, a little sort of, you know, more transparent and that kind of thing. If you want to go for a simple loop without kind of the fancy stuff, then you do have just kind of your pure H2O. You can probably see from this bottle that it's quite hot in here because it's expanded a little bit. So let's let some gas out before that explodes. Uh, but yeah, on top of that, we've got the thermal take stuff. We've got Corsair, which is actually made by Mayhems. And we've got the Alpha Cool stuff in a variety of colors as well. So yeah, let's load this up in the car and uh, yeah, move on with the rest of it. And of course, I picked the hottest day of the year to do this. Oh. Now this is actually really important. This is a Mayhem's Blitz kit. So we've got the Blitz Basic and then just the normal Blitz. If you end up getting a new loop and you want to clean out your radiators, flush your radiators, that kind of thing, then you are going to need one of these because when the manufacturers actually make the radiators, there's bits of metal still left in it or what they call flux. So having this it actually gets rid of all that. You flush it out with some uh, deionized water after and you're good to go. Now for anyone who doesn't know, Corsair, I guess this year I think it was, actually bought out their own water cooling stuff. So they've got the XG7, which is their GPU block. They've got different size radiators. They've got their CPU blocks as well for AMD and Intel. And they do fittings and everything for hardline as well as softline tubing. So yeah, if you're looking at custom looping, you've got quite a few choices these days. Thermal take, EK, bits power, now Corsair. Now this is one that, I don't know, I, I, I really do love this AIO. It's just bloody expensive for what it is. So this was a Zeus, uh, I guess their first attempt at doing an AIO. So you've got the uh, Ryujin as well as the Ryu. They both kind of have screens on. This one's just, you know, a little bit more, I guess, customizable and things like that. But yeah, not your fans, which is kind of the problem with this. It's fantastic at performance. It was just too damn expensive. So the shelf is empty. It's just a matter of actually taking these shelves off. I'm hoping with the car that it will fit that I won't actually have to dismantle it. I mean, it's not a, a horrible job. It's just a couple of Allen key bolts, but it would be easier to keep it all in kind of, you know, intact. 
Other than that, I mean, that was the organised stuff. And as you can see, this is pretty organised, but it is older stuff. So I'm not actually going to be looking at taking that. This, however, and yes, it is very hot in here, but this is basically um, the unorganised stuff. It's, I guess, stuff that was waiting for a shelf or waiting for shelf space. So the plan initially, before I got the office, was to actually get another shelf unit and put it here. But now that's kind of all changed. So essentially what I need to do now is sort through this because some of the stuff here is end of line, so it'll go on the shelf over there. Some of this though, and the majority of it, is stuff that needs to go to the office. So uh, yeah, that's next on the agenda. Let's get to it. So we've moved a couple of car loads over and instantly I can hear there's still echo in here but just having something in here has definitely made a difference with just kind of the reverb. So hopefully the, the microphone's picking this up a little bit. So let's talk through I guess what we've got and what the like I said, initial plans are. Uh, if you didn't watch our first video then maybe you won't actually realise kind of what we're doing. But the plan is to put some shelving units up here. The main reason for that is we want to block the light coming in because we will be using our own light and it does stop these horrible kind of purpley blinds because as soon as the sun comes through them it, it kind of leaves a little bit of a glow on the side of your face and we don't want that. So I did mention we have a lot of water cooling stuff so this is kind of I guess all of the coolant that we have. So there's everything from Alpha Cool with various different colour pastels, they call it the Ice Fasser. Um, we also have tons upon tons of Mayhem stuff, there's Corsair, there's Thermal Take, We've got tubing, so this is um, PETG. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got some satin stuff as well. We've got some kind of you know clear, pure H2O, so that's basically been filtered. We've got AIOs and fans, I mean, just galore. I've got shadow wings, 120s in white. Uh, we've got the 140s in white. I'm pretty sure there's some black ones. We've got all the notch of a Chromax stuff. We've got power supplies as well, so we've got 80 plus gold from Gigabyte. There's a I think a thousand watt from thermal take. We've got fans from thermal take. Uh, CPU blocks from Alpha Core. We've got kind of some of the Hydro X stuff from Corsair. Plenty of EK stuff. Mayhem's Blitz. Uh, so we've got plenty of that as well. SFX power supplies. I actually really do like a decent SFX power supply. Uh, we've got these are pretty cool. So these are actually strips which go on the side of the radiator. So thermal take do actually make a radiator with an RGB strip on it, but if you previously bought the radiator that didn't have the RGB strip, you can put that on. So nice and simple. Then it comes over here to kind of the, the more, I guess, let's say bigger stuff. So we have power supplies uh, again. We've got some really cool fans from Deep Cool, the Gamer Storm MF120s. They're really nice because they don't actually have a full shroud around them. Uh, we've got the ROG Thor 1200 watt uh, Platinum. I've used that in a couple of builds, including the Zeus kind of ultimate Azus build basically uh, which is really really cool. EVJ power supplies hoping to do some more builds with that NZXT tons and I mean tons of alpha cool radiators and I've got one here uh, which is absolutely huge. Uh, let me see if I can actually find that one which is here. So we're all used to our normal radiators this one though is a monster and it's literally called monster so M-O-N-S-T-A. So you know how thick a normal radiator is. Well, this one's just a little bit thicker. So I thought I'd just show you guys kind of, you know, some of the stuff that we're bringing over. <laughs> I mean, that's just ridiculous. But if you've got the space for it, wipe that in your machine, push-pull configuration. I mean, that's just amazing. So you have got uh, a little drain port on there, two ports here, two ports there, and two ports there. So the configuration options for this are pretty fantastic. Uh, we've got cross flow radiators, other power supplies, and I was actually saying to Tom, the guy who does all of our video and, uh, and editing and stuff like that, he was like, why do you need so many different power supplies? And you have to remember when we do all of our builds and things like that, we do utilize kind of, you know, it has to be at this budget. So we do like an $800 or $1,000, $1,200, $2,000, $3,000, we've done it all. And sometimes you have to say, okay, for that we need a 400 watt, 80 plus, you know, just normal white power supply. For other builds, we might be going for something, I don't know, a bit more silent, but still, you know, sort of low wattage. So we're gonna go with a 450 watt, 80 plus platinum, but no fan, so it's completely fanless, completely passive. 
so we have that if we're going up sort of you know even on the higher end of the scale we've got the Thor I think down here we've got the AX 1600i which is obviously uh, I think that's titanium rated 1600 watt power supply digital from Corsair when we do all of our custom loop stuff we've got this which is full of tools so this is the ice coffer kit from Alpha Cool, and inside here you've got kind of this uh, you can put your tubing in there and then it allows you to kind of suck, cut it it's I guess a little bit like a vice and uh, underneath here you've actually got if I take this off a bit of like a metal work plate and you can actually screw all these little bits down onto it so they're not going to go anywhere so you are going to get the cleanest kind of you know straightest cuts and things like that if you're doing bending and stuff like that you have all your mandrels so you can get a 90 degree bend here 60 degree 30 degree uh, 45 admittedly I've never used these I always do them by hand you obviously have your silicon inserts for different sizes and you have a saw which is probably the worst saw I've ever used sorry alpha call but it's just terrible maybe they need to send me a new one because it's just not great so we have that and then on the other end of the scale we have air coolers so uh, I do have some notural ones back at the home office but we've got kind of you know your lower end uh, 120 mil air coolers, slightly bigger 140 mil air coolers. We've kind of got a bit of everything. And then even going one step further again, going back to the water cooling, is the thermal tape kit. So this argh, is basically everything you need in one kit. So you kind of have your coolant, uh, your ATX 24 pin uh, power. Uh, so you can basically trip your pump. We've got radiator, tubing, fans, fittings, the uh, pump res combo. Uh, and this one is, I think this is a D5, and then we've got the DDC one down there as well. So very, very similar, but ever so slightly different. So there's that. Uh, other than that, we brought some of the kind of shelves over from the shelving unit. So just need to actually bring over the main shelving unit itself. Plonk it there, another one here, put the shelves actually on it, then take the products, put them on there, and then look probably about here maybe, or we might be putting it over there, I'm not sure yet. Shelf unit, shelf unit, filling it up again. And that's where we're at. It's been a long day. It's been very, very hot. And I think we're gonna wrap it up there. We will have more content of exactly what's going on here. So let me know in the comments section below if you guys wanna see more of this. If you do, I will carry on making some more kind of vlog stuff. A little bit like this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys. Cheers, bye bye.